You see this bad boy? I can't, I, I'm gonna pinch myself. I can't believe this is happening. Today's video will be the maiden voyage on what will be a months long journey to convert a Piaggio Ape 50 from gas to electric power. This particular Piaggio Ape was a marketing tool for the folks at Literati Inc. And for those who don't know, Literati Inc. is a book subscription service that delivers children's books right to your door. It really took off during the COVID-19 pandemic. But since they're not doing as many in-person events during the COVID-19 pandemic, they took some time to commission Austin EV only to do this EV conversion. Throughout this video and this entire video series, you may hear me refer to the bookmobile as Bookmoto because that's what the folks at Literati lovingly nicknamed their bookmobile. Okay, so. We've just arrived at the customer site. We are gonna see Book Moto in its full form. I am very excited. First day, we will get everything wrapped up. So it's there. There it is. John should be coming out, our contact here, in a minute. You see this bad boy? I can't, I, I'm gonna pinch myself. I can't believe this is happening. All right. Look at this bad boy. John, we're also a video company. Hey, hey. So, if you don't mind being on video. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for uh, Great to see putting you. this all together and getting the approvals and everything. This is going to be so much fun. I mean, this is what we play for. Cool. So, here we are. We got Bookmoto's shell off, and we are ready to transport Bookmoto to workstation number one. It's called the secondary location. Nah, 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 sister. You're not getting me to no secondary location. Let's get this EV conversion started off right. Um, I'm gonna get down to the core of this vehicle and that means stripping off everything that's not necessary to make this vehicle function. Uh, my first step to achieving this is I really wanna get this bookcase off. The reasons being are it's heavy, it's got a fragile glass door and it obstructs my access to the vehicle subframe. So this thing's gotta go. Uh, before even loading Bookmoto for transport, I employed a team and they helped me detach and lift the bookcase and then we were all just standing there holding this 300 pound box and waiting for someone to slide the vehicle out from under the bookcase and then once that was done we were able to lower it down onto some furniture dollies with some boxes on top of those furniture dollies uh, and really ultimately my goal here is just I want to leave this bookcase at the customer's location I don't want to be responsible for it. Check out this cab. The Piaggio Ape 50 is as simple as they come. I mean, no air conditioning or heating, really just window venting, these plastic mirrors that don't stay put, and really no crash protection to speak of at all. I mean, no seat belts. This thing is just a hot box death trap. Okay, so now that we have the bookcase off, as seen here, uh, it took just under two hours to remove this bookcase. And one of the interesting things we discovered is that, uh, you know, it took we had three people, uh, we probably should have had four because I'd guess that this bookshelf weighs over 300 pounds. And how did the manufacturer secure this, say 350 pounds bookcase to the frame? Well, he simply bolted right through the corrugated sheet metal. And uh, sheet metal is not that thick and not that strong. And so subsequently those bolts just ripped right out of the flimsy sheet metal. And when I got to it, the bookcase was just not secured to the vehicle at all. And this is pretty unbelievable that the bookcase never fell off the bed of the truck. I mean, think about all the times this bookmobile had been loaded and unloaded from a trailer, going up and down the ramp. It's surprising that the bookshelf didn't just fall off. Uh, so when confronted with this realization of the questionable craftsmanship that this thing had been through, I asked the customer how he felt about bookmobile that Literati had purchased. So was that like kind of himself. irk you that you that the person who assembled this didn't like secure it properly? Well, I wasn't or... involved with that, but we knew that they did a shitty job. Like it didn't run when we got it, and we uh -huh. paid for a running machine. 
Oh, maybe. I mean, we were probably like foolish to think that a 60 year old Italian motor would ever be like something we could count on. Uh huh. Um, but we at least thought it would work once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Got it. And I mean, I didn't know exactly how it was fastened or supposed to be fastened, but we knew it wasn't because it would slide around. Got it. Cool, now let's marvel at the interior. I mean, look at this totally exposed electrical wiring. Man, I tell you, the mechanic that came before me messed up the wiring big time. I had to rework a lot of the switches as the wiring, it was just not right. So as mentioned before, the handlebar alignment was extremely cockeyed, so that had to be fixed. Uh, next, this bench seat is not very strong. I don't think it would hold up well against someone who was over 250 pounds. I, I think this cab was really, it's just meant for one person at a time with the legs straddling the center wheel well. And uh, the handlebar controls here, much like a motorcycle, clutch and transmission on the left, brake and accelerator on the right. Uh, the levers that are on the floor near the steering column that would be between someone's legs, uh, one is for the parking brake and the other I believe is the reverse lever, I'm really not sure on that. And then finally here, the speedometer in the center is connected through a rotating cable to the transaxle, uh, but since I'm ripping all of that out, this speedometer is going to become useless. After leaving the bookcase behind with the customer, the three of us rolled Bookmoto onto this trailer for its maiden voyage and off to my workshop. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button, and more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin Evie only.